Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. I'm in the DAD, the Digital Audio Denmark booth, my friend Michael. And we are checking out some very cool things here at the AES show. I'm going to hand the microphone over to Michael, and he's going to give us a tour of something you really need to check out. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yes, what I'm going to show here is the uh, control pack. Uh, it's, a, it's a software extension to the, all the Thundercore products from Digital Audio Denmark. Uh, it's going to be released next month and it's free of charge. And it provides new functionality, especially for live music applications, being backtrack and playbacks and some show control functionality. So let me just explain shortly what I have sh on this display right now. It's a, it's a, it's a redundant setup with two computers playing uh, the same session of, uh, let me just do like this, from Ableton. So they are linked with Ableton Link. Each, each computer plays the same track. So it's of course in a redundant playback scenario. The one is connected with Thunderbolt to the core 256, the other one to the extender. And both units are interconnected with the low speed, low latency, high speed, low latency uh, DAT link interface. So they are totally in sync and totally in phase. So what it actually means now is that we can, on a channel-based configuration, switch between one and the other computer uh, if there's a fallout or a dropout in one of the playbacks. So in the Deadman software, there's of course a lot of different functionality. We actually can do, we can do up to 32 presets. And each preset, we have four different, now here's only two, four different inputs, buckets we call it, of a set of input channels that can be switched to the same set of outputs. So with this little example here, I guess it's not easy to hear. We switch between the two computers. Actually, we pitch down the one playback so you can hear the difference. So that's just a simple and manual uh, change between the two inputs. And this can also be done via this little panel here, which directly controls the boxes without the need of the Deadman software. So it can be pre-programmed for do the switching. Then the cool thing is that inside each box, we have a test signal, a digital AE6 signal, we call it. AE6, which is a digital yeah, binary signal. It runs through the Mac, sorry, yeah, the Mac into the Ableton and comes back, and if this signal fails, it will make a switch. So you can see here, all the green LEDs, LEDs are green. I can arm this one saying now, now it's in automatic mode. And if I then go and disconnect the integrity signal from the loop, it did an automatic switch. So the whole point of this setup is to have a, a redundant system that can switch between computers and is done within one sample so there's no audible artifacts and it can be automated in many, many ways. So it was a little long talk, but that's oh. that's at least what we're doing now. Yeah, fantastic. And obviously for live, live uh, situations with playbacks, fantastic. But I, I would assume there are broadcast applications for this in all kinds of different places you could use this kind definitely, of redundancy. Definitely, both in broadcast and also these presets are very, very good, not to necessarily automate stuff, but if you have a, a drum kit or some, some other input you want to quickly change between one set of microphones to another set of microphones, you just program it up in a preset and you can just switch around. And the fantastic thing with the Thundercore products is that everything's inside is a matrix anyway. So this is just a way to manage a very quick switching. Uh, and again, within uh, one sample, so it's totally inaudible. That's amazing. Fantastic. Congratulations. So thanks, for, thanks for giving us a tour. Thanks, thanks for stopping by. You bet. Thanks Good to see you. And thank you for joining me in the Digital Audio Denmark booth. We are at AES New York at the Javits Center, and I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater.